So first we start with a right triangle, where one angle is 90 degrees. We learned that the longest side of the triangle, which is across from the 90 degree angle, is called the hypotenuse. And we're going to label one of the two remaining angles with the variable we call theta. But now we're going to call the short side, that is next to the angle, adjacent, which literally means next to. And we're going to call the side that's opposite from this angle, opposite. So now that we've labeled this triangle, let's look at the relationships between the side lengths and this angle theta. The first one is called sine, written as S-I-N. Sine of theta is equal to the opposite side length divided by the hypotenuse side length. Next is cosine, written as C-O-S. Cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent side length divided by the hypotenuse side length. And last we have tangent, written as T-A-N. And tangent of theta is equal to the opposite side length divided by the adjacent side length. And the way we can remember these three relationships is with the phrase soka toa. The letters stand for sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. Let's check out an example using sine. So we just learned that sine of theta is equal to the opposite side length divided by the hypotenuse side length. But what the heck does sine of theta mean? Well, let's say that we're given that theta is equal to 40 degrees, and we're given the length of these two sides. The opposite side is 3.215, and the hypotenuse is 5. Well, sine is what we call a function, and it's built into your calculator. So if you type sine of 40 degrees into your calculator, it'll give you 0 0.643, and that might seem kind of random, but this number is equal to the ratio of these two side lengths. So if we do that, the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse, which is 3.215 divided by 5, we get the exact same number, 0 0.643. And that's what this relationship means. Sine of theta equals the opposite side length divided by the hypotenuse side length. Or in this case, sine of 40 degrees equals the sides 3.215 divided by 5, which are both equal to 0 0.643. And this is how cosine and tangent work too, except they use different sides. So real quick, let's talk about the way that trig functions are written, because it looks a little confusing. We learned in another video that when two things are next to each other, with no mathematical operation symbol between them, and one is in parentheses, that means to multiply them together. But that is not what we're doing here. We're not multiplying something called sine times 40 degrees. Sine is what we call a function. That means you can use a calculator to plug in any number you want into that sine function, and it'll give you a different number, just like you see here. If you find that your calculator isn't giving you these numbers here, it might be because the calculator is using units of radians instead of degrees. Keep in mind that if you're working with degrees, like we are here, then make sure your calculator is set to degrees, 